Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is how I made my puppet show. First, I made the stage. And I used a cardboard box, an old t-shirt, some paint, a skewer, and hot glue gun. First, I start by outlining where I'm gonna make my cutouts. This is the front of the stage. And I'm using my box cutter and my scissors to cut this out. So now I go to the bottom side and I'm going to make an outline and then I'm going to cut it out. And then I use my box cutter to cut it out and I find it easier using the box cutter first for the first outline and then just going with the scissors and just, you know, cutting off the rest. And there's the front. I did leave the top a little bit thicker than the bottom just to put like the name of my theater. And I glued the sides. There you go. And that's the bottom. And in the back, I just cut the middle and the sides, just creating like two big flaps on the back. And now I'm going to use my old t-shirt to make curtains and I kind of just mark like the height of the front of the stage and the width of it so I can, I mean, it's not perfect, it's just, you know, just so I can have some measurements. Here I fold it in half and I cut it in half. And now I just kind of glued these little sides down just so the like the threading doesn't come off or it doesn't look too uneven. So I just kind of fold it down a little bit, kind of like creating a hem without sewing. <laughs> okay, this part, I'm not very sure how to explain it. Just um, a very important note, do not hot glue the skewer. To the curtain. I'm just kind of like overlapping it, hot gluing the, the curtain with the curtain while the skewer is in the middle. I don't know if that makes sense. And now my curtains are ready. They open and they close and I have to hot glue it to the inside of the box. My skewer was a little bit long so I did have to shorten it. I put hot glue on the sides of the skewer and I just glued it down to the front of the box. And my curtains were a little long so I did also shorten those. Now time for the fun part, painting the box. And I just painted the top the two sides and the front. I did not paint the bottom or the back. Now I wait till it's dry and then I name it. These are the supplies I use to make three different puppets. Pipe cleaners, pom-poms, googly eyes, craft sticks, construction paper, yarn, scissors and glue. 
First, I'm creating little finger puppets. And I just used a pipe cleaner and kind of like twist it around to make little arms. And now I glue a pom pom on top so it could be the head and then I glue googly eyes to the pom pom. And for the hair, I just wrapped yarn around my fingers and I glued it to the top of the pom pom. And I cut the back of the hair just like that. And then this long piece of pipe cleaner, I just looped it around my finger. And there is my finger puppet. And I made her a little brother. They're ready. Hello. Now I'm going to start on my second puppet. I need a square. So this is how I make a square with construction paper. I kind of fold it like a triangle, I cut off the excess, and it gives me a square. And now I make an accordion fold. And now, using a pipe cleaner, I am creating her arms. I twist it around the paper, and I just twist it uh, two times, so just to make it a little secure and I make a loop for her little hands and I twist those too. So the accordion folded paper creates a dress for our puppet. For her hair, again I use the yarn, I wrap it around my fingers. This time I'm gonna secure it down using another piece of yarn and I just do a double knot to tighten it down. I cut the yarn in half and I glue it down to a pom-pom and glue down some googly eyes and a little piece of yarn for her mouth. The dress was a little too long so I shortened it and then I glued a craft stick to the back. And there she is. Hello! For my third puppet, I just drew out all the pieces. His head, his shirt, his arms, his pants, and his shoes and I just glued them onto the craft stick. And I drew in his face with markers. And they're ready for the show.